All right, going to show examples of Illuminati symbolism in SpongeBob. You say, why are you going after SpongeBob? Because a lot of these children's cartoons are packed with Illuminati and Luciferian symbolism. And why this is the case, because Satan wants to go after the children. That's why he, he wants to target the children, because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, to train up a child in the way that he should go and he will not depart from it. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 6, says to bring up the children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, talking about Christian parents. And Satan knows those, those verses too. So he wants to bring up his children in the Illuminati propaganda, into Luciferian, Jesuitical, Freemasonic, Satanic, you name it, all that type of propaganda. And here are some examples of that, of the Illuminati, under the control of Satan obviously, going after the children with their symbolism. So here is a picture of blatantly the all-seeing eye symbol in SpongeBob, so him and him and Patrick are gonna walk into the store, and the literally the front of the door has the all-seeing eye symbol, the Luciferian eye of Horus that is used by the Illuminati as their symbolism. Here is another picture of a interesting SpongeBob episode where Squidward actually joins essentially a Masonic lodge, a Freemasonic lodge, and he has the all-seeing eye, the all-seeing eye on the pyramid on there, and he's essentially joining a secret society. Uh, the squid, the squid lodge, or something like that. I forget, I forget the exact episode. It was years ago when I saw it. Uh, it was some kind of squid lodge he joined, and it's essentially just their version of the Freemasonic lodge. But again, you see this subtle, subtle programming of, you know, joining the Illuminati Freemasons and SpongeBob, and he's given a hat with the Illuminati Eye of Horus. He's going to a pyramid. You know, the occult, the occult pagan significance of that with the Illuminati Eye of Horus on it, and joining the Freemasons secret society their version of it in Spongebob. All marketed towards kids. Here's actually a picture of him actually inside the the secret society meeting with all their Illuminati Eye of Horus hats they have on there and their robes. So you got more subtle programming right there. Here's an episode of Spongebob. My cat is making lots of noise of them. Spongebob and Patrick actually in a store and you have right at the back there the Illuminati all seeing eye on a pyramid right behind them. You see, again, I've said this before, it'll go into your subconscious. You may not notice it at first, but it'll go into your subconscious. And you'll think, oh, it's just an innocent little, you know, uh, background extra. No, it'll go into your subconscious, plain and simple. It is how the Illuminati goes after the children. It's how they will uh, put this, these subliminal messages inside the minds of your children. Here's a final picture of, the, of SpongeBob basically giving a speech, and you have the Illuminati Eye of Horus on his podium that he has there. See, again, it'll, it'll go into your subconscious. I said this before. It's subconscious, you know, you don't pick up things right away, but your subconscious, you know, because the Illuminati, they're, 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 they are masters at this. The Jesuits, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, they're masters at putting things subconsciously into kids, kids' cartoons, like in Disney and other stuff like that, because it goes in your mind of your children and the image flashes in your subconscious. It's subtle programming, brainwashing. Hence why the TV shows are called TV programs programming. So those are some examples of Illuminati symbolism, you know, in Spongebob. And it, there's plenty of the children's cartoons that are just full of Illuminati and Jesuit and Freemasonic symbols. This is just a few examples of it. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.